What's going on learners? Welcome back to Learning Intelligence episode 13. And this one's gonna be a good one because I should, by the end of this video, I will be, I will be finished term one of the artificial intelligence nano degree offered by Udacity. And today was a big day actually. I worked through probably about 40% of project four. So I'm getting 90% done, but I've run into a little problem. See this WER here? That's word error rate. And that's 90, almost 99%. My model for detecting American Sign Language only got two out of 178 correct. And that's across the board for all of my functions. So I've got to work out where the errors lie, but it's, it's getting late here. As you can probably see that my screen was going really orange because it was flux. So I posted some questions in the forums. Word error rate never under 90, 98%. And I've got a snippet of my code here, but that's, it's, it's hidden out because of forum policy. We stick to the rules around here. Not really, but that's an important point, guys. If you need help with anything, make sure you ask for it. That's something I've got to learn in my, my own journey. I need to, to need to work on my ability to, to reach out and ask for help because usually I'm, I'm quite stubborn and I like to do things on my own and just push through. But once you run into a roadblock, levering, leveraging the help of others gets incredible things done. Human beings work better when we work together. So if you're ever in need, reach out to ask for help. You know you can reach out and ask me any question anytime. Comments, email, Twitter. That's lesson of the video, or lesson of the day actually. Reach out and ask for help when you need it. But otherwise, tomorrow I'm going to get back into it. Hopefully I've got some replies on this discussion forum. Uh, also on the Slack channel I've posted in there. But otherwise, if not, I'll just have to do some debugging and uh, finish off this project. What's going on guys? I'm at the library so I can't really talk that loud. But this morning I got up and I had some awesome feedback from the forum mentors and from the Slack channel. And so I've managed to implement that feedback into my project so far. And we're on the last legs. So I'm gonna finish off this, this algorithm here. This is part of myrecognizer.py. As you can see, the forum mentors are always, always really helpful. Here's my question. Got some feedback from, I think it's Letty, Letty Rodri. I'm sorry I'm pronouncing that name wrong, but she's amazing. She's all over everything. Every single post I check out, most of the, the constructive feedback is from her. So shout out to Letty. And my friend's donating blood, so that's why I'm at the library and I've got to be a bit quiet. But that's my goal for the next hour or so. And I'm going to submit this project and we'll check in when I'm done. Check it out guys, submitted the final project of the Udacity Artificial Intelligence Nano Degree Term 1. And check this out, my model, it ended up recognizing sign language at about 40, 47% the best one got. Now there are ways to improve it, but my the best model that I was able to build or the intelligent system with the guidelines from the course, by the way. The GitHub repo that I downloaded, that's with all the projects in the artificial intelligence and I agree is I'm not building these models from scratch, is that they have the outline of the framework and I have to fill in the gaps to build, to uh, fill in the, some lines of code and whatnot and build some algorithms step by step. But the majority of them, I would say, I would say almost at least 50% of each project has already been implemented, like the background and stuff. And the students, we come in and we, we implement some top level algorithms. So all the, all the testing, all the database and whatnot has, has been done. And we come in over the top and build our own custom algorithms to solve a specific problem. So as you can see here, given some instructions. So I had to do the rec make the recognize function which takes in two parameters here. And then we've got some details here of what those parameters are. So I'm excited. The review should come back shortly. Um, they may be, I got a message before saying that Udacity may be, uh, the reviews may be a bit slower because a lot of nano degrees are finishing up about this time of year. Because it is, it is November 28th and that's when, that's when the Udacity, the last project was actually due. You can't even see that, it's not, not focusing. But good news is we can tick this off in the Trello board. I'll put the link in the description, by the way. So project using hidden, use hidden Markov models to recognize American Sign Language is all done and it should be up on my GitHub by the time I post this video. So I'll put a link down in the description and you can check it out. As for what's happening now, I'm gonna go celebrate with a workout and then I've gotta wait for my review to come back, make sure I pass term one and then we'll, I don't know, we might have to spend yes tomorrow, sorry planning on what we're going to do next and where what I'm going to work towards next in the artificial intelligence master's degree. Drum roll please. 
Check it out guys, we did it. We met the specifications for project four. Build a sign language recognizer, meets specifications. Excellent work, you've passed all the sections. And we got some resources here for the optional part four of the final project of term one of the AI nano degree. I'm really excited. So today was a big day, last, last week actually has been a pretty big day working up towards this. And I think that's the first time actually that I've passed the project on on the first submission for all four of the projects so far in the AI Nano degree. So I'm really stoked with that. I just had a shower, I'm getting ready for bed. I checked my emails before I jump in because I was really curious to see if the review had been there or not. And it was, and we found it, and passed it. So what does that mean that I'm doing tomorrow? That's a good question because I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a little break in between term one and term two of the AI Nano degree, but I'll hit you up once, once I find out more details. I should receive some sort of email or something saying that I've completed uh, term one um, relatively soon. I'm not sure what the process is there. Look how much my plan has grown already. I called it Planting McPlant Face, by the way. <laughs> I had a, a poll on my Instagram story, which is actually really cool that you can, you can poll people on Instagram now. So if you put something on a poll, you can put a little, I don't know, pop up or a little widget that says vote for this or vote for that. And the crowd decided to name it Planting McPlant Face. Or it was going to be now plant backwards with the silent T. A Planting McPlant Face one. It's growing so quick, but I think I'm going to have to move it into into my front yard soon because it is a sunflower and the sunflowers grow really big and the pot it's in is not that big. So back to back to code, back to what I've been up to. Today, this morning, I spent about half an hour on Hacker Rank. Otherwise, for the rest of the day, I've been working on, on my writing, on, on my novel that I signed up for Nano NaNoWriMo, which is a challenge. There's, I've got a video that explaining what I was going to do. My challenge was to write 50,000 words in a month. And I think, I don't think I'm going to reach 50,000 words. I'm going to end up about 40,000. So that means I averaged about 1,300 words writing a day for the month of November, when really I should have been averaging about 1700. Something I should have mentioned in the last clip is the power of daily practice. So I've been doing Python every day for the past 10 days or so. I was supposed to do it all month, but I really only caught up to it about 10 days or so. And just, just small 25 minute blocks, one Pomodoro, and my confidence in Python has gone up dramatically. And I'm only even doing the basic challenges of Hacker Rank. I haven't really moved on to the advanced algorithms yet, but even just small little, little pieces of practice here and there, incredibly valuable. I spent the rest of the day planning what I'm going to do next next in my AI master's degree. And so I chose for the month of December, I'm going to do the deep learning specialization on Coursera, as well as the linear algebra course on Khan Academy, which is free. And why? I want to do those in parallel because deep learning has a massive linear, well, not massive, but a fairly substantial linear algebra component. It has a lot of math actually involved in it. However, a lot of the pre-existing libraries such as TensorFlow and Keras and Python and NumPy and Pandas and all that have all those fundamental math principles built into the library. So you don't necessarily need to know the math inside and out unless you're trying to, to push the field forward and in, in, in the case of maybe you're doing a research PhD or something. But in my case, I'm looking to be able to use the existing libraries to build something. And that's, I'm, I'm not necessarily trying to make the deep learning model and tweak it so that it's a couple of percentage points better than the best model ex that's in existence. I'm happy to use what's existing and build upon the shoulders of others. So we'll stand, what's, how's Isaac Newton saying guy? I would not be able to accomplish what I did if I wasn't already standing on the top shoulders of giants. So that's what I plan on doing. And of course, all of this is in the Trello board and the rest of it is in the Medium document that I created of the Artificial Intelligence Master's Degree that I'm doing. Both those links will be in the description. And last but not least, guys, we do have a few shout outs of the week. So these guys, these people reached out, commented on my videos, sent me an email. There's plenty more and if I miss you, I'm so sorry. Send me an email or Twitter and you'll be, you'll be in one of my future works. All right. I'll make sure I, I get you out there, but thank you to Chris, Ben, I can't pronounce this one, but Snoon Ham 01, Nexus Wars, Avanesh, and Ming. Thank you guys so much for reaching out to me. I hope I did my best to, or I hope you got some value out of the, the questions that I answered or the comments that I replied to. If you have any questions for me at all, guys, feel free to leave a comment. If you want to see a future video of any kind, just let me know. Leave a comment below or send me an email or hit me up on Twitter. My email is daniel at mrdburk.com and my Twitter is at mrdburk. I'll put something 
here. And you can check it out. All the links will be in the description, by the way. Otherwise, that's it for this week's episode of Learning Intelligence. Next week, we'll be getting into the Coursera Deep Learning Specialization, so be sure to check it in, subscribe, and we'll see you then. And as always, keep learning.